Oh yeah, it's Gator, the Pimp Edition Jeep Commander XK. Looking real good. <laughs> Coming along great. All we gotta do now is <laughs> finish converting this entire taupe and tan interior to the black. Here we go. Oh boy. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today we are finally going to, well, we're gonna attempt to complete this interior swap. I got this taupe and tan, this khaki color interior here for the uh, the new XK, the Gator. This, uh, this Jeep Commander replaced uh, the one that got wrecked over there, rear end collision. Uh, this was my, my black booty. I'm just happy that you got another black beauty. That's right. There it goes, now you got two black booties. What, black booty? <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful commander. Uh, black on black on black. Very, very nice vehicle. Clean, 100,000 miles. Uh, was wrecked. So, well, uh, I want my interior back. I want my beautiful black interior back. I uh, started gutting this thing. Uh, here is some, well, many interior components. The rest are bagged inside. Uh, this is a lot of work to do. And if you guys are interested in doing any interior work, hopefully this video will help you out. So I'm going to finish gutting this bad boy. And then when I have all the pieces ready to go, we're going to start tearing into this thing. One, two, three. Hopefully it'll be easy enough for you guys to follow along. Uh, we're going to get a beautiful black interior in this Commander. So, uh... Yeah, a couple more shots of the taupe and tan. Sorry about the sun. Let's check out the back real quick. Jeep Commander. Three row Grand Cherokee, basically. Seat seven. It's a must have if you got a lot of kids. So yeah, a lot of work coming up. But we're gonna swap this bad boy out. All right. All right, here we go. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you dismantle your interior is take off these front seat bolts. These are 15 millimeters. Just gonna bang them out with the big dog DeWalt. Then you're gonna move your seats all the way to the front and forward position. This will give you access to the rear bolts. These also are 15 millimeter. Now we do the passenger side. All the way forward. We're gonna get this step out of the way. And then what you could do, open up this rear tailgate like so, because that's electronically uh, openable. Pop the hood. Da, 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 da. And now we'll disconnect the battery. Why? Because we're going to be unbolting the dashboard that has airbags in it. We also have to take out the interior that has airbag modules. And I don't want to be unplugging and plugging in things and have the airbag pop in my face. So, safety first. There we go. There we go. Get to the rear. Now we gotta unplug our seats. Ooh, change. Change! All right, now we're gonna lift the seat up from the front. It's easier this way. I'm gonna pop this clip down, this little lock tab. That goes down, and then push and pull. Should slide right out. There we go. Now we have seat access. Ta-da! And please, I'll remind you that I just bought this vehicle, so all this grossness and crumbs, it's not mine. Please save your judgment. 
for the previous owner. Eh, what am I talking about? We're all gross. And the driver's side is a little more complex. We got a clip here and two more clips in there. They come out the same way. You pull the red lock down and then you push the tab in and pull out. Uh, so a little more complicated, equally gross. Uh, also, we got a steering wheel to work around, but you'll be able to get it all good. And before we take out our seats, we just gotta pop off this seat belt strap. There's a piece of trim, comes right off. And in here, this little guy, that is an E12 bit. It's like a reverse Torx, you gotta get that. Uh, I got mine on a half inch adapter to 3 eighths and a nice little half inch extension. It's gonna fit right on there. And once again, the big DeWalt makes this easy. There we go, seatbelt off. I'll just put this back so I don't lose it. I'll take the seats out. Now's the time to get yourself a nice hardware bowl. We got a lot of nuts and bolts to take off today. All right, next thing we're gonna tackle is the rear seats. Gonna flip this tab up here. I like these things, it's pretty cool. Take up this really neat cargo cover. Flip it around right there. Let's remove our jacks and whatnot. I wonder if I could outfit this thing to hold a different kind of jack since this commander is lifted now. I don't know. Maybe I'll just remove the jack and make it tool storage. That could be cool. So I don't think this is gonna work on a lifted commander. There we go. Take this out. Now we got 10 millimeters right here. So I'll use my little impact. Zip out these nuts. One. Where is it? And two. Is that it? I thought there was more. Oh yeah. Let's pop this off. This is all clips. Just be careful with clips. You want to make sure you're pulling opposite of the direction they're clipped into, not side to side. That's what breaks the tabs. There's the other two. Knew they were there somewhere. Nut pile, nut pile, this little tray comes out. Wow, I got half the beach under here. And what is this? <laughs> Frederick, this is like an AC uh, remote. Hey, previous owner, I found your uh, AC remote. Hit me up if you want it back. <laughs> oh man. Otherwise, it's going on eBay. Hey, batteries aren't even corroded, so you're in luck. All right. Ooh, a backhoe. Ooh, and a tanker truck. I won't be needing these for a little while. I'm just going to put these right back here so I don't lose them. That might be smart. Instead of throwing them in a giant nut pile and not knowing what goes where, I'll just do that. Rear seats. We got four bolts. Uh, let's see, can you see that in there? There's one. That's a nice bolt. That's a nut. That's two. And then three and four. I do believe we want to get this inside one first, if I remember correctly. So let's try that. Got my extension and an 18 millimeter. From here on out, all the back seats have 18 millimeters. There we go. 
and don't mind this thing this is just my little socket to help lower and raise the old spare easier so that just stays there all right back seats are going to lift right up and then you slide them back that should detach them They're a little heavy but not too bad at all it's coming out nice and easy oh yeah Oh, I'm covered in sand. And I love this lift, man. I don't hit my head anymore. <laughs> All right, this is uh, pretty gross. This is basically what you're gonna get from a car with kids in it. So maybe I'll vacuum this out before I remove this carpet. I don't wanna start sneezing and choking. Nasty. All right, the middle row we're gonna do last because we need to send it right out the, uh, the back. So we're gonna flip all these seats forward we got some bolts to get to here, here, and here. And here. There we go, more 18 millimeters. Ooh, hot. There's a spider walks across my face. While we're at it, I'm gonna do the seat belt bolt. You don't have to. Uh, if you're not gonna change your seat belts out, I plan on putting my black seat belts in, so it's gotta go. There's one under here. Gonna need a pick for. Pop that off. And these last two inside here, they're gonna require a little universal. Boing, boing, boing. Don't mind the M&M's. I swear they're not mine. This one over here is just a nut. All right, on the passenger side, gotta lift up these little covers. I think there is a seat heater wire somewhere in here yeah here we go back and down slides right out all right this back seat unit should be ready to go All right, so I think I'm going to try to get this carpet out. Uh, that's gonna be my first order of business. Uh, I'm gonna take out these pieces, all four of these. These hold down the side panels. Then I'll be able to take out this middle piece and the back carpet. You know what, I'll do the back first. This way I could put in my black rear seats, my black carpet, and get everything buttoned up in the rear. And then I'll worry about taking apart the dashboard later. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll start with these side pieces. Got a pry tool, just work our way under here. You don't want to break the clips. They're plastic. They go straight into the frame of the Jeep. Just work your way through. There's like four of them, nice and gentle. Try to come straight up. You don't want to crack this stuff. Come on, get the pry tool in. There we go, just like that. All right, three clips on here. And I'll go do the other four. This rear one came off without one of the clips. You gotta come in here and pry this out like that. It was a little rusty, that's why I didn't wanna come off. But it's all right, I'll just go ahead and smush this back on. No biggie. All right, got these guys out. So now I can get to these rear interior panels. I'm gonna switch to a T15 Torx. We got a couple hidden right here. I got a couple more Torx up here on this little cargo clip. These are like classic Jeep parts. One more on this side. These things are in like every Jeep since the beginning of time. But this guy up here, that's just a regular Phillips head. 
maybe because it's longer and then I'll make the Torx in a long size. Now we're gonna need our pick once again for this top panel, this guy and this, this guy and this. We don't need to take this panel off, we just have to loosen it so we can access the clips for this panel. So we're just gonna go ahead and pry this out. Come on, baby. You gotta go back to your T15 for these guys. Gonna want to pull this out a little bit, get some room going, get our fingers in there, and we'll start to work this panel out. It's all clips from here on out. Careful, don't want to break any clips. So we're just gonna separate this, and then down here, we want to make sure we pull up and away from this frame piece because the clips are like straight up and down. If you pull forward, you might uh, you might risk snapping them. Um, yeah, so there's like three or four, just one at a time, gently pull. Oh, there we go. Get this out of the way. side pieces just kind of slide together like uh, I don't know I got little tabs slide it nicely there we go don't pull it too far because you have an electrical connection for this outlet so we'll get in here we'll remove our trunk button get that down and this power outlet right here there we go Come on out. Instead of the power, we got uh, AC controls. One and two. Not every commander is gonna have rear AC controls, but if yours does, that's how you do it. All right, we've got to get this stuff out of the way. There's really not much holding it in place. Uh, we got this weird little plastic nut thing here. Let's just back that out. Put that in my pocket, save it for later. And then we have these modules. Really simple stuff. Just get these clips out. Clips. Clips. Clips, clips, don't worry, they're all color-coded, and as you can see, the wires have memory. Same thing with this side. Clips, clips. Actually, we could probably just slide this module out on its own. Let's just get rid of this Christmas tree fastener here. Pull that up. Pull this up. Got that. We don't even need that. This comes out really easy. Just two little buttons up top. Push them down, slide this module forward. There we go. One module out. Same thing with this. Push this button down. This comes up. plug out here. This could all stay in the car, really. I just need to get to the carpet. This could come off. Thank you. We'll just push these tabs. Fish the wires down. These flop out. Yeah, we'll dump the sand and dirt 
outside. Module, it's not screwed in or anything. There we go. All right, now I gotta work on this center console because I'm gonna replace this lever right there, the e-brake lever, uh, and I gotta get the uh, carpet up too, so uh, that all has to come out. I guess I'll just make my way forward. All right, here we go with the pick again. I'm gonna pop this up, this little chrome trim bezel. Nice. Now I got this wooden bezel, a little wood grain action with the old Quadra Drive 2 badge. That's nice. Best four wheel drive system ever made by humans. We'll take our radio bezel out now. I'm gonna use this pick right down here. A little pull on the front. Make it work it up the sides. I don't wanna snap this wood. Push in and 90 degrees. Not every wood grain is the same. You wanna make sure you keep a match. This is kind of like a tiger stripe. So I already swapped this over when I put my doors on. It goes really nice with my black doors. If you want to see a door swap video, I'll leave a link to that in the description. I'll also leave a link to all the parts and tools I use as usual. There we go. We're just going to have to disconnect all these now. All simple clips. Everything comes right off. And the wires have memory, so they go back right where they should. And also the clips are all different shapes and sizes. So you can't mess this stuff up. Just want you guys to keep in mind, <laughs> I'm still doing everything one-handed. It's almost easier for me than messing with the, the tripod. I don't know why, but it's quicker for me. Well, obviously not with these stupid power plugs. They suck. <laughs> Got it. All right. Now is the time to find a nice box, something nice and safe. Uh, you don't want to throw these parts out on the lawn. Uh, we're going to take this radio out too. This is a really nice head unit. Uh, get a nice box with some styrofoam and we'll keep it uh, safe and out of the way for the time being. Head unit comes out with four Phillips head screws. You might want to get a magnet and a tray so you don't lose them. And more clips. All color coded. Ta-da! All right, we're gonna use our pick again. Take out these cup holder liners and you will uncover Hopefully, you'll uncover, ah, there it is, a nice 10 millimeter fastener that must be removed. And it'll pop off, oh, pop off this back piece too. This is just clipped on. I got the entertainment system in this Jeep and heated seats. So, I'm just gonna pop off all these wires too. Popping off. Everything is clips. My goodness. And we'll keep this in a safe place with that stuff too, for the time being. All right, now we got these two little guys. These are T20. I got a nice little right angle adapter on my screw gun. flimsy should just bend yeah hey oh all right oh wow ew gross moving right along I'm just gonna pop off these side pieces over here and I'm gonna end up removing these completely because I want to get uh, my seatbelts on my black seatbelts uh, you don't have to do this if you're just doing the carpet should be able to just loosen it up like that. That's good enough for now. And this kick panel. Oh no, look at that. It's broken. Sad. Anyway, 
That's supposed to pop up straight this way, and this should come out straight this way. There we go. And that's, uh, that's gonna release the carpet from this side. These vents come with the carpet, if you want, um, or not. They could just pop off here. But they snake around underneath this and come out here. That gives the floor heat. Put this to the side. Oh wow, <laughs> it's piling up. Same with this side. Kick panel and side piece. <laughs> Not that side piece, guys. Come on. There we go. Get this up. You slide down like that. And if you want, take off the seat belt. This pops out like that. You get to your torques. And this is a T-50. Don't forget, it's got a little collar on there. Don't want to lose that. There we go. There's a whole seatbelt assembly. All right, it's gonna clean up some of my mess, some of my tools, and some of my parts, so I could get this uh, get this carpet out of here. Oh, gross. All right, guys, there we have it. That is a gutted commander. I'm gonna go ahead and disinfect and clean every square inch of this body over here before I go ahead and put the black interior in. And man, I didn't even get to the dashboard yet. Maybe I'll do the dash in another video because that's kind of complicated. So I think I'll do that in another video. I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll start reassembling. That's pretty easy. It just goes in the same way it came out. So uh, yeah, clean up time. <laughs> That's a lot of interior. Whew.